everyone, it's the Woodland Gardener and today we're going to be working on getting our garden area tidied up a little bit. It's gotten just a wee bit overgrown with weeds and such, so stay tuned. So as much as I'm a little bit embarrassed to show this to the world at large, here's an overview of what we have. So over here to the left, that thing with the little square box-like structure with the open slats is our compost bin. And way back in the deep woods, I have, um, it's probably a 30 gallon plastic trash can that I keep soil in. And beyond that is my potting bench. And to the right are our three raised beds, which are for growing vegetables. Then moving over a little bit further to the right, we have an open space. This is kind of a, a walking path to get from the front to the back of the house. And then further to the right, um, I have a lot of plants in pots and those are mostly shrubs, some perennials, and a couple of types of trees that will be for sale. And what the really, really messy part is, is up closer to the house. We've got um, an accumulation of gardening supplies, pots, a rain barrel, which a dear friend of ours gave to us and we haven't installed yet. So you can see that it's quite overgrown. So today's going to be the start of getting this area tidied up. A bunch of bricks that were left here when we bought the house. The house was already 15 or 17 years old, I forget, when we bought it. I guess those were left over from building the chimney, so I guess. be getting cleaned up. Hang around. Hopefully you'll get to see at least some good progress by the end of today. So we have spent about eh, four hours out here so far and we've made some progress mostly over here to the right which is where the nursery section is. You can see that we've used a, I guess it's called landscaping fabric as a weed barrier. Generally I really don't like using this stuff, but dire circumstances, <laughs> as they say. And then a little closer in here, we string trimmed all the weeds that were growing up near the house and stacked some pots there nicely. Took out a very small blue spruce that was kind of floundering and had to come out because it's was in the way. Although it pained me to take out a tree, it wasn't quite dead yet. Stump to be removed later. Got my pepper plants and three raised beds. So we're not done yet, but we definitely made a dent in this situation. So more next time. Thanks for watching.